You me sing what Jacko nyem pushi nyem fo. Cause real wreck, real I saw the thing go. That when your post chat, yeah, so we blow it now. Body you bony. Yes, people that don't know spa junkie stalking. Watch the face. You know that from here. Trrr. Welcome to Post Chat. Man. Great yeah. having you episode. <laughs> Give thanks. I mean, uh, this is the first time we're having you on a show. Definitely. So everything must be on pause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, how has been life um, after the new episode? I mean, after you changed your name from the S to X? Um, it has been a blessing, you know, because um, I was, it was quite hard for the fans to actually relate to me. Um, before the name change, it was the original episode, the one with the S. So most of the time... When fans go online looking for my stuff, um, they see the Kukumbaja, they see the Rosalinda, and, and you know, this kind of telenovelas and all of that in the movies. So it was quite hard, but with the rebrand, as in the name, it has really put, put the brand to a, a different level. And life has been good. I always say it's a blessing to, to be alive and still here to represent good music, is it? Yeah, man. So like you said, uh, you just wanted to get the difference. Yes, yeah, you know movie episode and the musician episode. Definitely. So, um, did you achieve what what you wanted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was good. Like, um, before we actually made this name change, I was I was a bit scared because um, most of the artists who do rebranding with names, they weren't that successful here in Ghana. So I was a bit scared, but thanks to God, the fans took it in good faith. I think it was it was the same episode, just with the spelling. So. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It took off like just within a week, the fans were already into it. We've know. passed the middle of the year. Um, so far, how has been the year for, for episode? Started a year a bit slow. Um, went to Zimbabwe to play a tour um, where I had to represent Ghana on the um, Sun Splash tour. It has been good, but just then, this year, actually, I really wanted to put a different side of episode to it. Um, the, the artistic episode that people didn't know, the painter who people didn't know. That is what I was really focusing much on. So I was a bit slow with the releases and all of that. But yeah, from... I, said, I think I dropped a song last month. Wah, the title is Wah. So yeah, works there, works in the but you need a, the real plan in the, in the real time is what we're looking at, you get me? Do you think the, the industry supports an artist like... Are you really limited to just the industry or if the industry supports episode? I think we live in this part of the world where um, art itself is not really appreciate, appreciated. Let me put it that way. Um, you look at the like, I always say this and then I don't know if people take off offense in that. If we really appreciate talent, Ghana should still be celebrating Terry Bonchaka. You understand? Because to me, there has never been any, any artist like Bonchaka since he passed. You talk about creativity, you talk about performance, you talk about... He, 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 was, he was a full act in being. And it's funny, it's funny because Vibrant Fire just passed. It hasn't been a year, but it looks like he never lived. You understand? So some of us... Look at it from that perspective that we do it because of the passion and the love. Um, even though the king self wasn't really appreciated in his own time. You understand? So it's just a blessing to be here to just keep going and, and, and just doing good music. That's it. So far, I'm looking at your works for um, 2017. Do you, mm. Is there any possibility of you entering the next year VGMA? We give thanks if it happens. Um, I don't really work for VGMA. I, the target is not to release songs to get nominated for G VGME, but I think it's just a plus for one artist to always stay consistent in, 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 in the year of review. So if I'm nominated for VGME, we give thanks. Mine is to just fit my, my fans with good music, you understand? So yeah, if VGME nominates me, I think this year I've not really put in, I've not really done a lot. It's, we, we, we've not released enough. But yeah, we give thanks. It's, it's still work, you know. Mm. Um, now let's get into the industry. Yeah. Um, I've interviewed a couple of artists this year. Mm. And if you ask this person that, what's your take on the industry? They will be like, the industry is dying. 
this is it's <laughs> rising. This one is this. They, yeah. Then they'll be comparing to Nigeria, they'll be comparing mm. to other countries and all that. Yeah. Well, episode, yeah. what is you, your take on the Ghana music industry? If I want to really start saying stuff, um, I don't think we can watch this interview. Well, we have enough bundle to watch this live video. Um, let me just touch on few few vibes. Yeah. Now, you talk about creative, the creative industry, and you watch the likes of BETs like five or seven years ago, and you compare to our current stages or our current setups and all of that, and you see that as much as we are learning, we we're still, we're still need to back up. We need to double up. You get what I mean? Yeah. Let me just end that one there. Now you talk about, let me, let me, let me talk about dancehall. I, I, I want to focus on dancehall yeah. now. First with the artists, I think we copy blindly. I wouldn't even say some of them. Many dancehall artists in, yes, in, in yes, Ghana. We copy blindly. blindly. The reason is, if a Jamaican, we are, we're, okay, we are, we are learning from Jamaica, Jamaicans, because it's their culture, it's, it's theirs, and we are actually learning from them, or we are trying to do what they do. A Jamaican man will go like, yo, talks about drive-by, talks about the killings on the streets, talks about poverty, talks about what really is going on on the Jamaican street. That's why you will be hearing violence and you'll be hearing guns in your music. So I don't expect a Ghanaian dancer artist to also speak about stuff like that. Because if a Jamaican artist say, yo, my boss, me gone, it is, it is something that happens daily. But it's, it sounds cliche if a Ghanaian artist goes like, my boss, me gone. Mm -hmm. To me, if I want to really sound a bit gangsta in my voice, I'll go like, my tony Yeah, that one is normal to my people. You get me? And it's funny because we, 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 we see it from the point of view that we are trying to um, look at just the negative side of dancehall, but forgetting that it's a sweet kind of dancehall where the Sean Paul and then the, the Shaggies are also having. Now, then you talk, you come back to the creative side of it. Let me ask you this. Let's say you're a promoter and then you came to Ghana five years back or four years back. You're bringing one artist, one international artist to Ghana to tour and then I know what, may, like, what mainly happens is, you're like, okay, so how many, which other artists are in Ghana that can support the events? Then you give me the first A-list of five artists five years ago. Now, you come back in 2017 and then bring in another artist, then you ask, okay, so I need supporting artists to support this event. And then they give you the same list of artists. Does it really mean that the industry is moving? Does it mean that we don't have no new artists? Does it mean that we, we're not really helping the youth. I just don't want to limit it to the event organizers or the promoters. Like, it's, it's, it's the soil. It's, it's the soil that we, 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 we stand on. You understand? The right measures were not put in place. The last time I spoke to one artist that I know he has been in the industry for like seven to eight years, told me his last royalty he got was severe disease. Which, which, like, I cry. Hmm. Yeah, so yeah. Do you agree with um, you know there are a lot of people, a lot of people are of the view that mm. dancehall is negatively influencing the youth. Um because they like you said about the violence aspect of um dancehall and mm. all that. What 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 do you really say to that? Um to answer this, I'll I'll say that one man meat is the next man's poison. Okay. You get me? Mm. The reason is you know, I don't know how, what, pers what, what, like what, from which criteria the China, you're trying to come from, or if you say it's influencing the youth in a bad way. You've got good artists who do dance and then they have clean vibes. Get on, let me hold you, put me hands all around you. It's a sweet song. It's, it's a lover song. I am, uh, tell me what you need, tell me what you need. It's, it's actually like a gospel rendition. Of songs which can be played in the church but it's still dance -off. so maybe i think just let me go back to what i said we copying blindly we've limited it to just the negative side which is really affecting all of us mm. um a youth like me four four or three years back i released a song called mandela and i quite remember i was performing it one day at a at, at one event and there was this guy in front of me like yo 
Uh, we, we won't dance with you. We be now we won't can tell you about history and things. But then these same people would, would, would be playing Bob Marley's song and then would be saying that Bob Marley is a legend and he does good songs. So why don't we just also listen to the good side of... You have so many artists in Ghana who are doing not even dance or good reggae music and, and because of the mix-up, the reggae and dance or, or reggae dance or you don't really get that kind of respect. You have people like Kombolo, you have people like Zylo, you know, Raskuku. You have the likes of some of us who do both. I1, Stoneboy, Jupiter. You get me? So I think it's, 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 a, it's, it's one individual perception Yeah, to me. You get size in the, in the dance or industry? Size. I'm yes. the shortest in the industry. <laughs> I'm talking about... I mean, <laughs> size. <laughs> episode get size. No. Which size? I mean, do you think anyone can compete with you? As much as it's a mission, it's because still a I'm saying this because um, I ran a mm. poll some time ago and I said I need like um, the best dancer or artist and all, everything I saw was episode and Jupiter. <laughs> that they said, I call, most of them were like, these are the real dancer or artists in Ghana. So that is why I asked that question. Um, size. <laughs> size. The only size, the only comp competition I have in this industry is episode. That's yeah. the only competition you yeah, have. Episode. Nobody can compete with you. Episode. According to you, who is a dancer king in Ghana? Dancer currently. King. Ah, some crown day. Yeah, there, are, there is. I mean, what, they, what if we are given a crown? Who, who no, but I don't see some. I don't see any crown. No, I, I, I will, I will. Oh, invisible crown. <laughs> yes, invisible. <laughs> oh, okay. As far as I know, I can still proudly say, I won one. I'm a dancer king. The reason is. There was this event that was held in Ghana, just like a Jamaican stink that happens yearly in Jamaica. If anybody for, has followed dance or culture for some time, you know when you talk about stink. Um, 2010, the that was a maiden edition, and Stoneboy won it, where I think he, he competed alongside Shatawale and all of that, and he won it. And the following year, I won, that was 2011. Mm. And the name of the co concert was Ghana Dance or King and Queens. So the king is crowned, and then the ladies who twerk, the winner who merges from that side is crowned as a queen. Mm. And 2011, I won Ghana Dance or King. So if you're talking about Ghana Dance or King, mm. I think, yeah, I can still proudly say yeah, I hold the crown. You are the But Ghana. you know, what, you know what, what makes you think that you are Ghana Dance or King? Yeah, just like I said, it's a competition, it's a name. Just like mm. if you're, you're introducing you're introducing Stoneboy on stage. You would say, oh, VGMA winner, um, BT nominee. So, so if you say Ghana Dance Hockey, I'm just trying to understand it from that point of view that, okay, episode has won a Ghana Dance Hockey competition. But if you're talking about attributes or names that artists take on their self, I would probably say Wale, Wale is, his name is champion. He's Ghana Dance Hockey. That's, that's the name he has on himself. Jupiter yeah. is a general. Samini is African dance or king. Mm. Episode is on track boss or spa junkies. But if it's about the competition there, yeah, we still hold the title. Ep episode holds the title. <laughs> Samini or Shatawale? SM. When I say SM, Shatta Movement, okay. Samini Music. Okay. Why would you go for um, SM? I said, you didn't understand it. Yeah. I said SM. Uh -huh. Samini Music and Shatta Movement. Uh, so uh, SM SM one SM two, which which no, one do you go for? You stand in the middle. You stand in the middle. Yeah, episode. Are, I can see you are afraid. Afraid yeah. of? Yeah, pointing no, if out. You, if you if you just from the random question yeah. SM or Samini music, I don't know what you're talking. If you are trying to ask me who has the biggest fan base, not the who, biggest. So fan what base. is the question like? What is what is really the question? Which one is your favorite? Oh. My favorite. Okay, no, uh, let's go by this way. Which mm -hmm. one is, is the best in Ghana? The best. There has never been a best. We are still learning. Yeah. Because you can't you can really say there has been a best dancer. Okay, SM somewhere. or Samini, which one is your favorite? I don't have a favorite. I, didn't, I, don't, I don't remember listening Episode to... Episode you are hiding. You are, you are trying not, to... You are, no, you are dodging. No, no, listen. Listen. <laughs> when you're talking about these things, I swear to God, anybody who knows me knows I don't really listen to my, even my own songs when I'm home. But I can proudly, when I say SM, um, I'm a youth that has been with Shutter Movement before because I was, I was a, once a protege of Shutter Movement. Okay. And I, coming from Dan Sumana, I've always been 
the high grade kind of boy who who has loved to be with Samini. So I can't really say, okay, so I'm choosing Shotawale over Samini. Okay. Some of these things, people don't understand it. But listen, if you listen to somebody's song, somebody who started the music or paved the way before you came, even if you never got one lecture from him that you'll write a song like this or do like this, the very same way you listen to his song, it has affected you in a way. Mm. So some of us have lived or we've built our career on these people. So I can't mm. really choose if it's a shutter movement or because, you know, some, some of the fans are... You get what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, your top three dancehall artists in Ghana. Top three dancehall artists. Mm. Episode, episode, episode. Episode one, episode, episode two. Episode three. Mm, okay. So, apart from episode, you're all about episodes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. You know? I see. Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> I see. How can we use dancehall um, to positively impact the youth? Um, yeah, dancehall. Sing a song for Mandela, 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 hell Nelson Mandela. Tell me where you gonna run go after making our motherland a beat a place to sleep. They have songs like, if I can remember one song. Okay, so let me just, the reason why I did a freestyle is, if anybody knows what dance or how, how dance or reggae originated, it was the people's voice. These songs come from the ghetto. These are songs that 80% talks about inspiration. It talks about upliftment. It talks about life. It talks about love. So generally, I, I think love, reggae is love, dancehall is love. It might have the... the, 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 the the jamming part of it, like the dance part of it. But to me, I think that is like the greatest kind of inspiration. Mm. Yeah. So, right. so with music, maybe we don't really focus so much on the, 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 the lyrics. But mm. I think now the youth are, are, are adapting to it. They are, they are learning. And then it, you'll be shocked. A youth can sing A to Z, every lyrics that Shatawali puts in the song. It tells you that Ghanaians are really move from the level of just dancing to a beat mm. to lyrics to listening to lyrics you know so yeah that's it episode yes boss. what's what's your relationship with samini um cool <laughs> when was the last time you tested him i tested him yeah oh it's been long it's been long it's, it's close it's been like a year a and year a, and a half yeah i'm sure because i quite remember um i used to text him and no reply, you mm -hmm. know, and sometimes it shouldn't look like oh, huh, oh, huh, pressure. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? You need to also respect the father. He has got work to do. He has got family to to be with. So yeah, when when we meet in town, oh, numbo, numbo, but I think I've not seen him like a year. I've not seen him like a year. Meaning you've not gone to town like a year, or you've not no, I've met been to town. any, I've been to any town. events. No, no. I am um, the time I met high grade family was. In um, lunch, okay. I met Tony, and then we vibe. Where we're just like, hey, Tony party. Since since um since he started uh, Samini Fest, have you ever performed? No, you've never performed. No, and 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 that's one sad story that I think people need to people don't really know. I would not want to really go so much into it, but uh, I know people might be asking, why did he say no? Because we know he's so much affiliated with high grade and. Yeah. He has never performed on Samini Fest, but I would never want to talk about that one. Why? Um, uh, yeah, it's just it will it will just open some wounds I I have already treated. You get what I mean? What kind of wound? Um, can you just give us a clue about. Okay, so um, anybody who knows episode, or who has really followed episode's career for like three or four years, would know that I'm that kind of youth who will wake up on a random day just to go to dance stadam to chill with my guys and when I get to dance stadam I'll get to hold the microphone and perform for two or three hours entertain people and walk home mm -hmm. I'm that kind of artist who um, would 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 not be appreciated because he has he's affiliated to one particular kind of artist mm. 
I'm still that artist who never got signed to High Grade Family, but I was always there if High Grade Family calls. So with this um, Samini Fest, I think the first, the first Samini Fest, the lunch, I got to the lunch, I was at the lunch and um, the posters were there and I didn't see my picture in there. I didn't complain because they know what they're doing. But then my manager, Theo, was so much, he was like a core high grade member. You get me? So fans spoke about it and then they was like, oh, Charlie, you know, we put, uh, we do a new poster with Sarkori and all of them. And um, finally, like the, the final list to be out. And it came out, I wasn't there. TV commercials, I wasn't there. So I decided not to play the show. But, you know, I'm, I'm a dance man boy. And if high grade is from dance man, then you should expect that kind of dance man crowd to be at Samini Fest. So the fans were like, you know what? With a beg, you just come past through. So I agreed. I decided to go and play the show. We got to the show. Sound check, if I could really remember, sound check was 3 o'clock. I got there at 2.15. I never got to sound check because that night, Stoneboy, I think Stoneboy was traveling. So after Samini sound check, Stoneboy had to perform and leave. So I couldn't sound check with the band. And even before that, um, my management by that time had to pay my band to perform, even though I was billed and then I, I, there was no money in there. But I wanted to really deliver because Samini has been like one mentor I've always learned from with the live band. So as much as we were told that no other artist is performing live apart from Samini, we still got there and then noticed that Kaki was performing live with the same band who they said is not playing for any other artist. But I had already paid my band to be there. And we had to go back home because they gave us sound check at three and we stayed at like 8.30 to go back home and change. And when we're coming back, my manager was saying that, yeah, Charlie did the call. They said before, hurry up. And we got there. The agreement was, I think, because it's, 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 it's a soundtrack and a live band thing, if Samini is about to perform, two artists have to, the two artists who are playing live, that's me and Kaki, would have to perform before Samini. So I was saying, like, okay, either me or Kaki. If Kaki goes before I go, it's the same thing. If episode goes before Samini. We got there, and then I think Kaki was performing. And we had to stand there. Till, till like 5 a.m. That's the only stage I performed and I cried because when I was performing, they were packing speakers. And this is somebody who has always been there for high grade, even though I was not signed to high grade. So the next year, I decided not to play. And my same team beg, beg, beg. They were like, yo, Charlie, let's do this. Did they invite you? Um, yes. The second one, I think they did. They did. Um, but then I decided not to. But it wasn't really an official invitation though, because let me see, let me let me make this clear. When I was with on track team, like on track team is me. I started on track team. So but I got the help from so many people, Karim, Waki, um, all of them, Naya and all of them. And when it got to the second year, these people are also high, like core high grade members. So they were like, Charlie, this year they will be begging for play. I remember I fought with these people that, yo, I'm not going to play the show. And we still had to pay another band. Stood there, and then we never got to perform. The, uh, the so second years, edition. Yes, two years in a row. And the next day, when my fans took to social media, they spoke about it, that it was quite bad. The whole thing looked like I actually told people to do it. Meanwhile, because of the tears or the, the, the kind of moment I was going through, my phone was off the whole day. So it created a little problem, which I, I, I later had to find out because I fans show their love to the kind of artists. So if they were there because of episode and you see him perform, like, you know, yo, Charlie, let's let's just move to the next thing. You know I mean? No, but it will be it will be great. Yeah, yeah just it's, like it's, I said. So it's So it, does it. Yeah. Since then? I've never I've never I think some of has been done twice, right? Yeah, I two think years three, in a row. three uh Yes, two years. Yeah, two years. Two yeah. years and yeah, I I've never but I'll, I was all there, like, yeah, I was there till, till morning. If you are invited this year, would you go? Yes, yeah, business. It's business. Mm -hmm. We've moved from the level of free, just being... Free show. Um, no, it depends. Sometimes, you know, like, I think sharing the love should be... You give it out, just like um, you play me, I play you. 
Matatu. You get what I mean? Mm. Yeah. So it's 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 it's, it's just. Too would you ever like that. Uh, on any occasion would you ever um, charge Samini um, when you, to when perform you at? When you talk about charge, yeah. What do you mean by? As charge? in as in you collect performance fee from um, Samini. I I am not because in... you'll be coming with your band and. I know you are always that life kind of life yeah, artist. But I'm not in the place. I'm not in the place to discuss business. Mine okay. is to just show up and perform okay. because I am the performing artist. So it is the management. Definitely. You and um, is, is Samini owing you still owing you your 10k? Oh, Charlie, this is you. <laughs> uh, is he still owing me? It? Yeah, I think the last time, if I should be very, the last time I checked. Um, the people who were put in place to check this hasn't they've not told me that oh he, maybe I, he paid or he hasn't paid so i i think no 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 he hasn't paid let me be real he hasn't paid he hasn't paid no have, have you um contacted the management um you know i said something just before this i said that i'm just a performing artist for the management did your management contact have you i mean it's it i know you are under management yeah. but um has there been any occasion when you are like, you are supposed to get your money? I mean, you are the artist. It's true. You are under management. Mm. But there are some monies that should come to you. Have you ever made any effort? Have you contacted, talked to your management um, to see some minis management? I, if they say dash and not swear, I wish I could just swear on this one. Mm. You get what I mean? But there has been so many instances, so many times. Just like I said, the people who I, 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 I put together as a team, or the people who were my team by then, were high-grade boys too. So, Karim was put, if I should mention names, Karim was put in place to, to actually, after the lunch, to, to follow these things. And you, um, if I should talk a little bit about, because I, 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 was, I, was, I was watching Samini's interview on here. If I should talk a little bit about it, he mm. made mention of, High grade family putting together a lunch for me. I think I need to really correct that. Um, they were part of my team, but it doesn't mean that high grade put together a lunch for me. You understand? I just being one artist who decided that this year I'm gonna put out my album, and then we work towards it. So, if it was like it is on track team released episodes album. But high grade boys didn't put together album lunch for me. And to talk about the lunch as well, I just want to make things clear. You know, before even I go, I enter into some of this thing, let me just even apologize to all the high grade family and to Samini himself, everybody who has been a diehard fan or a supporter, Samini. Um, if whatever that happened with this money issue is. Is, is bad on your side, I just say sorry. I just want to clear some things up. To talk about the lunch, um, he made mention of, he got a call that he has to be there because there was nobody there and what, 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 and all of that. To be real, I'm an artist. You, if, if we all, we can bear witness to this, if you're doing an album lunch, I think you have some people, because my album lunch was free. Mm. So I actually sent invitations out to almost every artist I know. Mm. So I, I, I personally sent an invitation out to High Grade Family. And if I could really, really remember, before Samini came there, Adam was there. Trick was there. Trick Matic was there. AK Sunshine was there. Prodigal was there. Reggie was there. Um, like, a whole lot of artists. So it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that these are not A-list artists or these are not artists at all. Mm -hmm. Because when, when I actually heard that, a, 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 I, I felt a bit bad. And anybody who really want to be witness to this one can just check out this the full performances on my youtube page so it wasn't that just like he said the album launch was dull and then he got a call so he had to drive all the way i appreciate that like it was such a blessing to my life to see samini come and grace my occasion because out of 10 artists you just get one to be there and i think some of these things it should just be because of the love. Because I was at Samini's break, the, 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 the break, Breaking News album launch. I performed. Mm. I, I think I, I remember that night. I came just straight from the airport and I went to the launch. I wasn't even invited. And I performed with Stoneboy. So, you know, some of these things, I feel like it's because we you sow, then you rip. But it's not because of maybe... It's just... Let me just put it like that. 
You get what I mean? But so it's not the high grade family who actually put this together for me with the lunch. And the money, just like you check, you ask if I have checked on Samini. He's a big man. No doubt about that. So even on a regular day, if oh dada, wag one and no reply. You see that I go. It be oh, it be it make busy or you know they tell. And after the lunch, what really happened is before a week before the lunch, I actually got these people to sign me. That's Bevo Music Group. So it was just like it wasn't like me running my own thing, just like me and the boys doing you know, our I will make the final decisions. This time around, I've got a whole record label making decisions for me. So after the lunch, people were put in place to do stuff. I was just recording artists. And their feedback was anytime they try reaching out, because I know that night anybody who pledged actually paid. If I could remember. So only um, Samini didn't pay. I didn't really okay. look at it from that level that night because I performed for more than two hours. So from that time, I just go, go house. You get me? Mm. But anytime this issue, because we had groups, like groups that we're talking, anytime this issue comes up, like Charlie, you people hear from Samini, then the one who was put in charge, we're like, oh, you know the town, you make busy. Tony said we'll get back and all of that. You get what I mean? So when this thing actually hits me on the media, like I was like, yo, when Samini came here the other time, yeah. um, first of all, he wasn't happy with the fact that a publication came out mm. and which he felt um, it was damaging to his brand. He felt Publi that publication about like the amount he promised and he hasn't paid and all that. Okay. He wasn't happy. Yeah. And to him, he could have at least passed by his place. He could have passed by Dancer Dome. And just ask him for uh, for the money. Okay. Instead of um, going out with um, a press release and all that. Um, but you know, this this is where I don't understand. This is where I think there's there's kind of a bridge. Let me put it like that. There was no press release. If I should. So be are real, you telling us? I'm coming. Let me let me let me. Let, I'll get to the what, yes. what you. Then you can ask a further question. Mm. This thing happened, happened in March, yeah? I think the middle of June, that web, like June there, one blogger made this, uh, like a whole story about this thing. And I personally called the blogger, yo, you know the way me and Hygrid family, they are beg you, put this thing down. I personally called it. And if anybody, go feed be witness to this, anytime I'm asked this question on radio, anywhere, that Charlie, we yes, somebody can play for you this thing. Charlie, the money there, how far? Oh, yeah, yo, me and high grade family, yeah, that way. So, to be real, there was no press release. This whole thing happened in September. I was on Dr. Khan's show, Happy FM. And then he played songs for my album, because then I was promoting my album. He played No War and all of that. I was like, he heard my album was like the best album launch. But then he, is it true that Samini pledged at my lunch? And I was like, yes. Like, how much has it? 10,000. Like, has he paid? Now, at that moment, before then, I've said to myself that, yo, I'm not going to lie no more about this thing. Because he made it public. And now, people, you've not come out to say that, oh, or this kind of ma or no. You've not shown to the public that, yo, something has given me the 10,000 cities. So, indirectly, it looks like, or this kind of ma. And he did it in public, and you are hiding it. You understand what I'm saying? Because there's been several occasions that people ask, even after the album launch, the news that really hit the media wasn't about the lunch. It was about somebody pleasure at the lunch. So that was like the biggest thing. You get what I mean? Now, I was like, no, I'm not going to lie about this thing anymore. So when he asked, I was like, no, he hasn't paid. And like, really, he hasn't paid? And all of that. And they called Tony. What actually got me to, to do the soundtrack? Let me apologize again. I'm sorry, big man. What really got me to do the soundtrack is... How would you feel if speaking the truth ends you in trouble? How would you feel? Would you, would you really want to speak the truth and, and be real to them or lie? And, because if you lie, you still have to double up the lie anytime. So if me speaking the truth, like, oh, with ya, they be in chai. And they actually called Tony. And Tony was like, no, we not pledge nothing. Nobody pledge anything. Indirectly, 
It makes me look like, yo, that I'm trying to frame something up. But there's evidence to the thing. You get where I'm coming from? I'm, I'm getting a, a bit, like, emotional now because I've lived with this thing for so many months and close to a year, and then people still don't get to understand it. So for me to voice out, and it's funny when people see that particular song as a diss song. I wish I could just write every lyric in the song that people should understand. This is like a personal, everybody, we wake up in the morning and we know that, yeah, it's you, yourself, and God alone. Let's, let's face fact. As much as a human being is going to help you, it's God who's going to help you through a human being. You understand what I say? So, now, the song, there was no part of me dissing Samini. No part. He, me, I, I, you know, I, I accept it. I took his voice at the album launch, made it like an interlude in the song. I apologize again if that is bad to the Samini brand. But it was just to show evidence that there was a proof to it that he pledged. Because if the high grade family comes out to say that we not pledge anything, episodes fans will feel like, oh, so why? This boy, they like. High grade family will be like, oh, Charlie, this guy, they like on top of Samini. You get what I mean? So the reason why I used his voice in the song was just to make people know that this is what really happened. It was not to, just like he said, it, to make people feel like some of the people are bad and this is the kind of things that you know. It was, that wasn't the intention. And I beg everybody, I wish you could hear the song. The title, in, the title be Me, Myself and I, because I spoke about, you never did it. When the whole thing began, you don't know where me come from, you don't know how long. You don't know the hospital, mama lady, 16th match where me born. And it'd be true. Somebody Nobody knows. You say he was never there when he started. Uh, somebody no, this, came here last time and, and this, said. This is not. And said mm -hmm. um, he first. Uh, if, uh, he, he was the first person to record a song for. He was the first person to record a song for. Yeah. Him. Like Me to somebody, help you record. Oh, Lord. I have featured Brick and Lays in 2011. Said if you to the studio. No doubt. No doubt. It's a blessing that. A youth like me will have Samini to with. But let's let fact. Let's let as it is. Me and Samini's song was like 2014, 2015. So where was episode then? You know, you people, I won't give you some 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 shoe. Make you people wear customized shoe. Make you people wear this is AV, this thing. I talk for this thing. Then I will call you, I'll tell you say, oh, you people will call, then I will tell you say. So, you know, then the shoe self, I won't give you. Then it be like this. So, you know what? The shoes I get for them, make I go sell them and take go buy t shirt for you guys. To me, it doesn't sound right. I think, just like he said, if that was the plan, they should have discussed it with my management. I mean, I don't have problem. And now, do you know what I can use 10,000 series to do if you're talking about videos? I'm a graphic designer, I'm a painter. I shoot my own videos. I mean, like, I do everything art. I can shoot six videos. Because I have, the only thing I'll need to shoot a video is a camera to rent. And you know, like any technical person knows that it doesn't really take super extra to rent a camera and a light. Maybe if you have big budgets for a kind of video. But to shoot video back then, I can do like, you get what I mean? And it, it's not, that is not even the case. It is not their decision. Even if it was a decision, did you ever make a step to discuss it with my manager? Because, like, just like when you talk, mm. you get what I mean? I, mm. I used to have Tony Islam. Aha, see, personally, eh, before mm. Dan Stadam came in place, I was one of the people Tony contacted to design the logo for Dan Stadam. I have done countless art, art covers for Samini. Mm. Yes, countless. So, we they are all that, free. Yeah. You get what I mean? So it doesn't look like I just woke up out of the blues and Samini took me to the studio and did a song for me. I appreciate that Samini recorded a song for me. And I, I, whilst I, I was listening to it, he said he wrote the hook. He gave me a hook. He took me to his studio. That one, yeah, Brainy produced it. Bless. But wrote the song, added lyrics to my own and all of that. Charlie. Do you, do you see somebody as 
At this point, do you see him as someone who owes you? But look, if you don't be anything, God day. You get what I mean? If you don't be anything, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not bragging. But at least, if I stop music today, I've got a degree to work. If I stop music today, oh, my, my mother in royalties alone, my mother in royalties alone, go feed, feed me all my life. <laughs> what if it comes right now, his management approaches you, um, they are like, they are paying the thank you. I am would, not, I am would you not. Take? I am not into the money. Listen, I want, I want to clear it. But I'm coming. Would no, you take money? No, money be money. I go take them. Listen. Okay. But I am not in. That is not the main reason. The reason is what is going around the money. Because first, I want people to understand that there was no um, press kits. There was nothing fabricated. It was just me answering the question that I was asked. Has Samini paid? Oh, Lord God. And I said no. And I don't see why this has become like a super big issue. So let me ask you a question though. I beg, be real with me. Imagine this, this year, episode goes to D Crime's album launch, go pledge 10,000. Mm -hmm. D Crime goes to Ephraim's album launch, go pledge 2,000. Ephraim goes to Kaki's launch, go pledge 30,000. And we all are not really fulfilling these promises. What are we doing to the industry? You get what I mean? Some of us are not just artists who want to just do 90 kind of, kind of song. We want to build records. And, and music is our life. So it is not the one day thing or two day thing that we look at. We look at changing the industry. People might say, oh, episode be that kind of artist. He, he talk in mind and all of that. But we, the same people, go sit here and talk, say Nigerian music is, tra is traveling far. But these are some of the things. You get what I mean? Let's mm. just... Let's just know that, yeah, you need to be real to this artist. You need to be real to this man because, see, make I be real. I quite remember some, some years back, me, I was designing for, you, 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 did, you know, did you know I designed the Shatter Movement logo? Okay, you designed it. Yes, movement. yes. Which, imagine if rights measures were put in place here with royalties concerned, yeah. I'll be a billionaire. Because you know how many merchandise have been done, like how many products have come out of that logo. But then we still look at it from the point of view that, oh, if he, nothing, okay. Did you know that I did pull up remix, the video? I did all the paintings in the video. Okay. Um, Sakodie and Kwakese Yakubu. You talk about um, Papi Kojo and Joey B Wave. The graffiti on the floor and everything. You get what I mean? So, I have, I'm that kind of artist who I put my life down for so many artists. And when you don't get that kind of thing back, it hurts. I mm. swear to God. Mm. Some of the realest artists in this game, Tiny. That one, if I, if I go stand up. Tiny. At them. Let me tell you the reason why. Do you know this video, Eba? Mm -hmm. Do you know I did all the graffitis in the video? I did when I was, you remember the, the, that year? My, my dream was just to meet Adam when I was called to come and do the thing. Hmm. I never took a penny. But years after, me and Adam now, Adam now, we be more than somebody than the father. Mm -hmm. Adam featured on my song, and even when we, we wanted to pay him, he said no. This same person came to my lunch, and because he know how, like how these things are, he called me for one coin. I said, like, yo, Epi, you know what? Maru, take one of the CD cameras and can't take this coin. He didn't meet me to tell the world that I want to give this mm. to him. You know, and listening to the big man's interview, he said, hey, they see this. He said, the place make door. And he said, oh, yeah, make I just give them that some 10,000. <laughs> how, can, how can you be the first person to, to pledge and still say the place was door? When they started the pledge, and then he did that. You get what I mean? So imagine if me had to sit down where they have 30 Ghana CDs. As an artist, I just want to support my, my brother episode. I'm like, hey, so me have 10,000. Me have 30 CDs. I have Jemmy, so I won't go. You understand where I'm yeah. coming from? Yeah. So this thing, I don't know what is really 
making this thing all go around and what, 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 what. But the fans sometimes need to be real. The fact that you're following one particular artist or you're a diehard fan of him, it doesn't mean that if you the person is going wrong, we can't just say, Charlie, Ghana music, <laughs> what, what would they do? In, in one word, how would you describe Samini other Samini is a legend. I sing Samini's song on so many stages and I was so sad when Samini said that he doesn't know one of my song and, and they said, they said you, you, have, you don't even have one, one hit. Do I, do I have one hit? Oh no. Then, then, then I'm, 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 I'm the most, most, most blessed artist in the world. You know why? You don't, you don't have any single hit. You know why? You, you've been in the industry for, for a while. Yes. You know why? Listen. No. I don't have no hits. I'm a blessing. Thank God. You know why? 2013 to date, list any awards scheme in Ghana and check the nominees. Reggae dancehall. My name is there. Samini's name is there. Shata is there. Stoneboy is there. So if I don't have a hit and I'm still with these artists, oh, then when I get hit, so you're trying to tell me Avatar is not a hit. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Then, oh, then I for, I for rush past everybody. Because if I don't have a hit, I'm still the underground artist. And then the top five dancer artists in Ghana, every day my name they there. Oh, Lord. Do you think Samini has been uh, unfaithful to you? No, I would not blame Samini. You blame who? No day. His management. Yeah, I think there was a miscommunication somewhere. You understand? And if they also saw it from the point of view that I was his younger brother, just like they said. They will, they, will just, they will just be fair and be real. Mm. You get me? Okay. So yeah. um, we have a few um, comments from uh, followers. And yeah. we have one from Flex. Your boy, he says, I don't like the profanity in your songs, but I said that you were good. Profanity, uh, good song. Yeah, um, I don't really oh, know. Dance all is dance so Afro, Afro, Afro wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Wait. wait. <laughs> dance all is dance all. But this same person will sing... Um, which which other? Oh wait, we can look for some one 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 profane song. Nobody often knows me and you are. Nobody often knows me. I give it. They will jump to it. So what is wrong? Sometimes that is why, if a dancer artist releases a song and he thinks he's quite explicit, he does a radio version mm. and does a raw version. You get me? Yeah, yeah it's dance all. So um, Afro first Toronto says. Talk about the lyrics and not the genre. Okay, so uh, when we were touching on um, how the genre is influencing the, the youth. Okay. Um, Bra Maxwell says, episode, you do everything. Big up. Um, Nyama Jenny says, you are on point, dear. Uh, also, we have a few um, comments on Facebook. Uh, Daniel Paris says, episode is one of the few real dancer artists Give in dance. Ghana. Eben Daji says, shout out. Um, Eva Shari says, I like your confidence. Uh, Abdul Baki Kali says, we change color. To the enemy, anytime. <laughs> What's the video of that? Oh, we change color. You know what Avatar movie before? Ah, okay, okay, yeah. And I see. So if you, if, like, you see, say, today, everybody knows, say, oh, episode will come here, then maybe episode will wear black, then you come, no. Oh, I come here, then I talk like here. Mm. I change. Maybe Take I go out. buy some boots to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Abdul, um, okay, T-Bone. <laughs> Umunata says one man army. Give thanks. Okay. You um, know, it's, 